how is everybody? Why do I always ask that? I know how everybody is because we all speak 50 times a day. (laughs) And nobody else can respond. It's just us. Well, it does change from minute to minute. It it can. uh, It really can. That's very true. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. How you been? (laughs) It's been so long. Still okay. I'm particularly happy. I'm happy that we have Sloan with us. Me too. And by the way, I'm so happy to be here. Yay. I'm not only happy to be in L.A., but happy to be with you three lovely ladies that Yay. I miss desperately. So it's fun to be together. It is It's good. hard to be apart. Yes. I like well, it I'm not together. I like it when well, we're all. I, we feel together. like you're here. I like it when we're all four together. Me too. Yeah, me too. Me too. Best me by too. far. Best by far. Um, well, today we have a great episode. We well, are... I want to tell everybody who we are. Oh, oh, oh okay. yeah, that's right. Okay. So somebody, important. Somebody may have accidentally tuned in and they that's don't right. know who we are. Okay. okay. Do but it. we're on the rags. And we're on the rags because... I'm Risa. Amy. Gloria. Sloan. R-A-G-S. R-A-G-S. I get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's so funny. We're so punny. Okay. I have a question yeah. before we get into everything, uh-huh. if I may. Yes. Okay. Is there a statute of limitations on when you can complain about a service? Like if you, if somebody did something at your house, I know I'm still going on about house stuff. Well, this is real estate. Real estate. We're talking about real estate. So that's real estate. It is part of it. Okay. So somebody does something at your house and it's. Are we on the tip thing? Yes. No, I'm not even into the tipping anymore, (laughs) but kind of though, because I did tip this guy and, um, and when you left, when they left, you realized that he didn't clean up after himself, but you couldn't be bothered to call. And then a month passes. Is that too long for me to call and complain? <laughs> yeah, now? I think so. Yeah. Totally. But uh, oftentimes. I think you should call right away. Yeah. Oftentimes uh, after people do services, at least I've gotten them lately, you get one of those things saying, how, how was it? Do? And there's a happy face and a sad face. Yeah. And uh, then they want you to give comments. Right. And that's the, and they really yeah. do try to. Get a thumbs up. They do. So I've noticed an improvement since they send out these surveys. Yes. We are talking about real estate. So How involved. crazy is it everywhere? The state of this industry, oh my gosh. which now presumably will be slowing down now that interest rates are going up. My sister, just my niece, my older sister's daughter just bought a, her first condo oh. and she had to pay, she offered $25,000 more than the asking price. Wow. And she's young. That's, well, our guest will be able to answer a lot of these. That's issues. right. I know. And I'm so tell excited. Tell us what's happening. We're talking today to Josh Flagg. He's really kind of one of the biggest hotshot realtors in the country today. Um, he has a show on Bravo called Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles that has been running for a billion years. Um, and we thought it'd be great to bring seasons. it. 13 seasons. 13 seasons. Yeah. Starting the 14th. Incredible. And we thought it'd be great to bring him on because of the time that we are, the time that it is in the world right now with real estate so crazy. And then now interest rates are rising. Like who knows what's going to happen. It'll be such a a great conversation. Um, I personally am obsessed with real estate. How about you? you You go to see houses like most weekends. But I have to tell you, not only Amy, I'm sorry, Don's uh, couldn't do a little cameo because the first before we bought this, the first 15 years we were married, whatever city we were in, we went to, you know, how Open they houses? have those in the, no, in the window, real estate. And he'd yeah, call, yeah. well, yes, we'd go look at houses. And I was like, is this uh, fun for you? Because <laughs> Men I, love that. On Men. holiday, on vacation, he wants, he Terry loves too. property. Yeah. Terry too. Yes, a lot of I people do. Too. do. Lot. I do. I Amy it. does. I Amy do. does. I do. Yeah. I, my, you know what? We I just bought a house, or I did, well, helped to buy a house this year for my son. I mean, I helped him, but he's like me. He saw one house, that's the one he wanted. Yeah. Although the person that showed him the house had seen 30 houses uh-huh. in that same price range, thought it was the best house, the best house for him, and it was the best house for yeah. him. She's good, too. She's a good realtor. But, really good. But it's, you know, he's like me. He's not a shopper. I don't really get that. I have to look at everything. (laughs) (laughs) I like it all. I see the pros and cons. Whenever I go into anybody's house, though, whenever I go into anybody's house, now I always look at them going, "Uh, now I want to (laughs) move. You you have, Risa has the best house. She has such a great, 
It's I mean, compound. No, yeah. but my house was built in 1958. We did, when we bought it, it was owned by the bank for three years. I know. So the outside looked like a jungle, and the inside was pretty bad. It's so a we good had way to, to buy a house. We had to do work, yeah. and then we had to do mm. work again when we, we had not very much money. And then a few years after that, we had a little bit more money, so we did a little bit more work. And then I did a little bit on my own. So it's not... A fancy house is just a comfortable house. It's kind of fancy, too. It's not fancy. It's a little bit fancy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem is you think, even if you think you're getting a good deal, and as you said, interest yeah. are going up, people don't understand who haven't had a home how much work and upkeep go into a home. Oh, my yes. God, every day. It is a, like a, a sinking ship. It yeah. is Look, I've lived in my house for 26 years because I never, it's perfectly located. It's got everything I need, even during the pandemic. And again, I've lived in this house for 26 years, so it was not expensive. But even, How long have you lived there? 26 years. <laughs> even during the pandemic, there was enough there to do all day long. And it was, it, yes, and being able to walk outside yeah. in the fresh air. At your own home, yes, there's something to say about that. Okay, everybody, we have a very special guest today, Josh Flagg. <laughs> and I really don't know where to start. He is known as the Prince of Beverly Hills Real Estate. <laughs> Being born and raised in Beverly Hills, he can tell you the provenance of every home in Bel Air, Beverly Hills, Holmby Hills, Truesdale, and beyond. He's been quoted as saying, I was born to sell luxury real estate. I first met Josh more than 10 years ago with Edith, his adoring and adorable grandmother, and hugely successful entrepreneur on her own. Edith and Josh had an alchemy that was to be envied, a relationship hugely impactful on Josh's life. She had style, she had grit and resilience, and it clearly rubbed off. Although he's become a celebrity from his television personality on Million Dollar Listing LA for 13 seasons, the real foundation for his success and his underlying strength is his astute knowledge of residential real estate of the highest end market in the United States. Not only has he been phenomenally successful, he has given back to his community in so many ways. Let's welcome Josh Flagg. <laughs> Good job. I don't know how to lead after that. I know, really. I think we're done. Okay. <laughs> Two days later. And I say. So, Josh, we were talking about um, your show to start. I mean, we can start with the obvious. 13 mm -hmm. seasons of Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles. I sure have. 13. Have you been the whole run? Uh, uh, 12 of 13 years. I mean, the first year of the show was a kind of a different show. It wasn't like three real estate agents or four real estate agents. It was like 16 agents. Okay. And then they changed the format season two, and that's when they started Million Dollar Listing as you know it today. Okay. And I've been on since then. Okay. So tell me, and I'm sure this has been written about, but I'd love to hear it from your own words. So tell me how, what level, and I don't mean like home staging, but what level of staging is there and how, how are you, or you are mean these scripting? All, scripting. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Scripting. Um, are these all really your listings that a film crew comes in to oh, sort yeah. of like just see? So it's all very real and happening. And I mean, you obviously have to shoot yourselves, you know, opening doors and getting out of cars and whatever to get these like establishing show shots. But right. but how real are the the deals and the clients? Yeah, these are all real buyers. I mean, they have to be because this is all public record. You can't yeah. really fake a buyer for a house. You know, they're yeah. all real buyers. They're all real houses. They're all real closed deals. Um, you know, the majority of my sales aren't really on television. You know, most of, of my clients don't want to be on TV, but the ones that want to be on television are the ones that we feature. Okay. 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 So speaking of faking buyers, here's a question <laughs> that I've always wanted to ask every realtor I've ever known. Um, everybody seems to do this, no matter what level realtor you are, is... But while courting, courting a client, 
you, you say it, I'm not saying you specifically, but everybody does. I have somebody that I know is going to love this house. I can't wait to show it to them. And then when you don't get the gig, the client disappears as well. <laughs> Do you think that's, that's true that everybody does that? <laughs> yes. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, that's, I mean, it makes sense. That's not, I don't. How do you get your me. clients? Do you get mostly word of mouth? Yeah, mostly word of mouth, referral, uh, mailers, uh, just. He's the prince of Beverly know? Hills real estate. <laughs> no, 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 you know, I get calls. I get calls so often about my house. People calling me saying, you know, I have a client that's very interested in your house and they want a house like that. And I've in your house looks perfect. And I went, how do you know what my house looks like? You can't see it from the road. And then they're like, <laughs> they're, they're, like I get those calls all the time. Uh, you're and probably I, really mean to them when they call. <laughs> Should she I'm be? not no. mean. I'm not mean to them. I just say to them, well, you can't see my house. How would you know? What, what do they like? say? Well, you know, I, I like there's an aerial view, which there is Google, an aerial right. view, I guess. Yeah. But they. But they come up with all. <laughs> so people do that. They just make cold calls, it's don't usually they? Usually bullshit. But I yeah. mean, I mean, I don't. There is potentially it could be true. I don't think so, though. I don't think so either. <laughs> okay. Oh, can I have a question? You love architecture. Yes. Yes. There is a house in Los Angeles in Beverly Hills, the Godi House. It's is there only one? The like, what? Godi. You know, he's a uh, an architect from Spain. He no oh, Gaudi. 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 Yeah. yeah, but that's not really a Gaudi house. It's not. No, no, no. That's a fake. Yeah, it's a it's a Faudi house. It's a faux, <laughs> faux Gaudi house. Because I love it. I love. I mean, I love his architecture yeah. in Barcelona. No, and that's I know not. Gaudi was. I think died in the early nineties. Oh, you're talking it's, about it's, Barcelona. Yeah. Barcelona. Oh, yeah, no, so it's, a, it's somebody designed it, pretending yeah. like it looked like yeah. that. Yeah. It's really upsetting. To me. Sorry to ruin your dreams. Faudi. <laughs> Sorry to ruin your. Yeah, dreams. he died a long time ago. I know. Yeah. But somebody had to carry on that tradition. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yes. so funny. So I had read you started or you made your first deal when you were seventeen years old. No, nineteen. Nineteen. 19. So, but right. did you Tell start real estate in high school? school? You're reading Amy is just wrong I, today. I, well, that's I, why you can never depend on everything you read, and we have him here. In well, the yeah, flash, I started when awesome. I was in high school. I mean, oh, well, I start. I was definitely apprenticing in real estate when I was seventeen, maybe okay. even sixteen. I don't know. Uh, okay, I, cool. Let's talk. Tell us, Josh. I mean. At what age did you know, I'm not interested in school, I'm interested in college, in getting my license and getting to work? 16, for sure. I mean, but... I oh, mean, for sure, like, 16. What? I knew that I didn't want to go to college. And I mean, it wasn't even a question. Did you know that real estate was... Yeah. I mean, that's unusual for a Jewish boy that, to tell your folks... I'm not going to college. I they mean, that... They didn't have a choice. I wasn't going to... Was, uh, that's what I was going to do. Well, Ron, Ron Meyer did the same <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, Were you at a handful my, as a child? <laughs> my son did the same thing. My son's only half, though. Half <laughs> 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 Was it easier to tell your parents you were gay or that you wanted to be a realtor? Which was easier? They were both easy. I didn't have... I have very supportive parents. They don't... Yeah. They Just teasing. Yeah. They <laughs> but he does. Yeah. They but that's unusual, well, too. That, but no, I, I think that that's true about most young men who know what they want to do. I mean, look, Steve Jobs knew what he wanted to do. Bill Gates knew what he wanted. These people didn't go to college or finish college. No, they both dropped out of college. But but if you know what you want to do at a young age, college delays what you're right, doing. Right, I think right. so. Yeah. I think college is just a delay. But it works for some. I mean, I'm just, look, you, some. Can't, you can't do certain professions without going to college. So it has. you have to go to college. So, Josh, what got you – Why? how at yeah. 16 years – old were you interested in real estate what was that I've always that? loved houses and I've always loved people and I've always loved architecture uh -huh. I mean you know put people and houses together with you know that's yeah a real estate agent yeah it's like me I put people in movies together there you go same yeah. thing yeah. there you go yeah what do I put together mm -hmm. my um everything I just put everything together no Michael's um, still upset that you made pizza and you didn't offer him any oh crap I should have. I will. Sorry. I do. I put I put flour, water, and salt together a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Become a sourdough queen. Nice. Um, okay. Well, so we we have some questions though. Do you yes. ever have clients that you fire? I have. Yes, absolutely. Because they drive you crazy. I just have some nice, just unreasonable, or if they're just not real uh, buyers. Buyers, or I mean, not. They are real buyers, but they're just. They're, they're, they're going to be looking for a hundred years and, and it's going to just be too much energy. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. And that's because of what? Unrealistic expectations. Yeah. Or just, yeah, uh, my time is valuable. I'm not going to sit there or, or, you know, and, and, and 
I can't, it's, uh, there's just sometimes there's, their clients are just very unreasonable, and, and, and then I'll refer them out. It uh-huh. happens. Uh-huh. It's not usual, but, but it happens. And um, give me an example. Like, what makes you crazy? Just like, like. I, I don't need to like if a buyer if if like uh, well I don't need to sit there while the house is getting inspected. That's what one of my assistants can do. Like oh. they, they're like, well, I want you to sit there oh, yeah. and with the assistant, well, uh, or sit there with with the with the guys looking at your your water heater. I'm like, why do I need to do that? Like that's yeah, like no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then and I'll, so and then a... I'll get in a fight with the client, and then we'll part ways not so nicely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah. 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 Are you, have, have you ever taken a house to sell that you were sorry you took on? Yeah, several times. And then I, I'll sometimes I'll just release them from the contract if either if they're unreasonable or if they're if the house is overpriced or the house is just a there was one that I I literally was selling uh, a couple of weeks ago and I just called up the guy and said I can't sell this for you this is this is way too hard of a sale that there's like nine thousand stairs going up to the house it was like going up like Montezuma it was it was just <laughs> like. <laughs> and I said, can I just, I, I'm just going to release you from your contract. And how did they feel about that? Yeah. Well, they were like, am I getting fired? And I said, <laughs> I'm, I, I can stay on, but I'm not really doing a great job for you because this is not something that I, I'm, this is not a house that I'm equipped to sell. And do you feel like that's because they're asking too much money for what it was? We're asking it's a stupid always... number for a house that uh-huh. literally was like going up Masada. It was literally, yeah. you couldn't, you needed a funicular <laughs> yes. to go up this thing. <laughs> it was so stupid, this house. But right, but everything will sell. It's just yeah. a matter of what your what the price is, right? Yeah, but they didn't want to drop the but price. But they wouldn't drop it. Right. So or when they say they numbers. don't want to drop it, the, they, they say, well, we need room to negotiate. I said, well, there's nothing to negotiate because there's no offers coming in. Uh-huh. And so I said, so what, what, what yeah. this, is, this is silly. So in a market like now, it's been insane. And right? I know it's kind I of mean, cooling right? off a little bit, right? But, but Has it been insane oh, and yeah. still going? Is it cooling off? It's not in my department, but yeah. I mean, it, it maybe other places. The newspaper like, says that it is, but I don't. Well, I don't certainly s- not in the ultra high-end luxury yeah. market. No. Yeah. That isn't being you know, affected uh, by bread prices and... Yes, yeah, I believe that. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's I think a different... people that need the mortgages in the lower end houses are more affected because their mortgage rates, go, interest rates going up so much. Yeah, but they still are lower than they ever were. They are still historically low. They, I mean, they used well, to be a lot higher. Too. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Do you think we're going to get there? Do you think that the... I hope not. Yeah. What was what was a normal back back in the day like eight percent right? In the eighties, they were at like twenty percent. Oh, were right, they really? Right, I don't. Right. I didn't know that they were ever that high. Were you born yet, uh, Amy? <laughs> no, uh-uh. no, I wasn't. <laughs> Thank you for getting that on record. <laughs> that's <Yes>. cute. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. Is it different across the country? But you don't. It's not. You don't, you're not I concerned. Think it's different in every state and in every different uh, part of town. Yeah. How, so how do you feel like doing the show for this many years? Has that been an, a huge boost to your business or do oh, yeah. you, it has been? Oh yeah. I mean, you yeah. can't get better at, I mean, but better it's advertising. advertising. Yeah. It's, it's marketing that you're it's getting paid for. Marketing, <laughs> essentially. Yes. Right. Of course. It's, That's yeah. incredible. It's terrific marketing. Do you feel like you have more business than you can even really juggle no i think it's manageable okay i can assign it to team members if it's too much so i always uh-huh. have people that i that we don't operate a very big team it's a very small team which is great we're, uh-huh. we're, we don't have like 100 people which is nice and we don't take on you know 100 listings at a time it's we're a little bit more personable i think than most real estate offices okay and do you do you think you get like because you have a name do you get some of the best listings in los angeles i mean does that just yeah, I mean, kind I of get, get magnetized towards you, and do they want to be on the show? Is that sort of level of clientele? Some do, some, some don't, more. but the, most of the big houses that I saw are not generally on but the show. But can I say okay. something about Josh that not everybody knows? He is beloved, not just for his by every age group. He has friends that are 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, <laughs> 100. I mean, these are people he hangs out with. He's not hanging out with 25 and 35 year old people. Yeah, he really has an unbelievable uh, expansion age-wise of friends, uh-huh. deep, deep friendships that yeah. go on. Uh, so, and they've been in LA for 
you know, many generations that know him that mm-hmm. call him. Just so more it's, fun. Like I'd rather get not, on the phone with Candy Spelling than talk to a twenty five year old. You yeah, know? I like. I mean, I just he likes, I would too. He has. <laughs> he has so an old fun. soul, is what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah. No, I see that. I went to um, a fundraiser for the L.A. Holocaust Museum. Mm-hmm a while back and you spoke there and you spoke about your grandmother and she was sort of, you know, featured in the night, but I just thought that was so. Oh, that's great. Okay. Melissa Rivers was the MC. Okay. She's yeah. perfect. Yeah. yeah she's a yeah, good friend is. of mine. I love she her. Is. You should get her on your podcast. Well, she's fun. We yeah. should, we yeah. should. Put you in I met her at your house a couple of times. Um, her mother died a few days before my father died. Mm. I, I didn't know whether I should, well, we were sitting next to your, each other at your house one night. And I, my, uh, Dad's girlfriend at the time said, don't tell your father. Don't tell your father. Because he loved Joan so much. Oh. She was scared that was going to, oh, that yeah. would kill really him. But she died right. any way. But it was a few days apart. Um, Josh, tell us about Million Dollar Listing. Like, there was one episode. You were doing Suzanne Summer's house in mm-hmm. Palm Springs. And then at the end, I thought it was really upsetting. She didn't. She decided she sold it under from underneath you or around you. No, she didn't do that. What, what I'm trying was to it? remember. I'm just trying to remember what it was actually. And you were kind of. She called you. She said, "We have good news and that bad news." Her well, I'm and friends Alan. with Suzanne. And no, Alan, I know. So I didn't to, know. It, I don't remember that what was it, real. No, I'm trying to remember. No, no, it was real. Oh, I. You know what? I think it was they. They met the buyers <clears throat> of the house directly, found them directly, and so they just wanted to split the commission. And I, I said, fine. I don't care. I mean, because they 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 was friends of theirs, and yeah. frankly, they could have. I mean, frankly, they didn't. I mean, I didn't. It whatever. I didn't. Okay, care. but I mean, are there are some gut wrenching things that happen emotionally? You know, even with friends. Yeah. Yeah. Shit I happens mean, all the time. I know. Yeah. Shit happens. I like Suzanne. Shit happens. I like Suzanne a lot. She's funny. Yeah. No, she's great. I just. You know, I was my heart broke for you. <laughs> I was upset. Yeah. Real estate seems like one of those businesses that can get very enmeshed very quickly because if you're working, you want to work with your friends, you'd think, but maybe sometimes that's a mistake to have your friend. Yeah, and then if you don't put the listing friend, to your friend, then yeah, that's then a, that breaks the friendship. Yeah. And, and even if it shouldn't, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, something happens sometimes that people don't give me the, like, that they. Look, what if you were friends with two brokers? What are you supposed to do? Well, I guess you could give it to both brokers right. and co-list it. Can you? Yeah. I don't it's all the co-listing. Do your friends always ask you to make deals? Like 1%. Take a 1%. I would, I would tell them no. Yeah. I would say, I would say, <laughs> yeah. well, why am I? It's then the, why do it? Then why? It's not worth it. No, it's just like, what's, is my time really that, because you're getting a lot from me. Yeah. You know, I should really charge you more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there a standard? Is there a standard? Like in my business, it's like a standard amount of commission that yeah, you get. it's like two yeah. and a half percent. Okay, on both sides, so it's five. So five percent. Five yeah. percent. So the seller pays is- the commissions always. The buyers never pay the, the seller commissions. pays the commission. Mm-hmm. Both. Both. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So it's like the commission is inclusive of the price, but the seller person selling. So if a house, house is five million bucks, the buyer's paying five million bucks, but the seller is going to net after commissions four million. Uh, seven hundred fifty thousand. You think I'd live under a rock, right? Like, I don't <laughs> no, uh, you've just been in the <laughs> same no, house since I've been nineteen. Whatever. Million what is apartments. what is the, your favorite house in all of LA, or that you wish you could sell, or you would like to sell, or you? Is there a listing you ever missed? Well, I mean, the old David Geffen estate for sure. Uh, Jeff Bezos' house, I would say for sure. That's, oh wow! You know that Diane lives in uh, one of uh, Geffen's old house. Yeah, yes. that was his. Yeah. That was, uh, I think she bought it from him, didn't she? She did. She did. Yeah. She did. Yeah. She always asks me, she's like, so what's it worth? What's it worth? She always wants to know what's our house worth. I'm like, what do you care? You're not selling it. What do you, and by the way, right, it doesn't matter. matter. It's, it's just going to keep it. going up in price and up. And, like, she's going to sell it anyway. I love when we go to dinner and she brings utensils with her, like plastic <laughs> utensils. Absolutely. Always. She's been over to, have you ever, she's been to my house for dinner parties, I think. Yeah, she was it. supposed to come to your Christmas thing and then. Then she was out. She I was said, with Risa, me. where's Diane? She said, she's she's not coming. Uh, she's not no, coming. no, I don't know. You said Diane's coming to dinner tonight. And, said, and I no, said, no, she's not. No, she's sitting right here. I don't know. I mean. Oh, that's funny. It was, oh, Cindy. With, What's her friend? I love Cindy. Cindy. Yeah. She's adorable. Cindy's great. Yeah. She is. She is great. And she, it's good for her, too, that she has somebody living in her house with her. So there's always somebody around. Well, yeah. they've known, and they've known each other their whole lives. So I that's know. what's great about it. It's not just a friend. They're like sisters. just a staff member. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's always been together. It's all those things. Yeah. Yeah. 
Is there a spot in Los Angeles right now that you feel is like an up and coming? Oh, that ship has sailed. There's no secrets anymore. No, like uh, outskirts, outskirts, Eagle Rock. <laughs> outskirts, <laughs> if there is, I don't know about Glendale. it. No, <laughs> okay. the answer is no. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. I wish. And do you think that prices are going to keep? I mean, how high can they? I mean, is the sky the limit, or no, is there I mean, going to be some it stops for a while? It's a cycle, it's cycle, isn't it? It just. It, it it tapers off it's and then it goes up again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it will go. Are back we up. in a tapering? Do you think? Or I think we're in a tapering, but I think that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think yeah. Prices are high. They're going to stay high, but I don't think they're going to go down tremendously. Maybe a little bit, but not. If you're buying a house and you're keeping it for a while, what's the difference? You're gonna. Who cares if it go, dips a little bit? You're gonna. If you're staying there for a long time, it's right. only if you're living there for a couple of years it makes a difference. Like the stock market, just just yeah, stay in it. Let it. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Or get out and then, like right now, get out. <laughs> buy in a month. Too too buy in a month. It's too late. Yeah, to no, get out. should have yeah, gotten out and then buy in a month. Too yeah. late. Yeah, I don't know. That ship is safe. Are you yeah, friends yeah, with yeah. other? Are you friends with other realtors? Yeah, or is, a lot, a lot of brokers, and I'm not friends with a lot of brokers too. <laughs> <laughs> but you have made some bestie friends from the show. It, it seems like yeah, Tracy. I've seen one of you my best walking friends. the streets with Altman at night. I've seen you crossing over to the Beverly Hills. I mean, I'm not you mean, uh, the at person that midnight and you're glor- going for a cocktail. And you saw us with Rocky at nighttime? I have waved. Oh, you said, come <laughs> on, come on. We were oh, coming that's... home from Hillcrest one night. That's York, funny. And uh, and you mm. hang out with Tracy. Yeah. And... Uh, Tracy and, and Josh and, uh, yeah. And the two Brits. The Brits. It, it looks real, the relationships. They are I mean, real. It, Those yeah, are not I mean, fake relationships. Not look, <laughs> Those are 100% real. It does not real. look scripted <laughs> or phony. Those are not scripted. Yeah. Those are 100% real. Yeah. And your okay. grandmother was your role yeah, model? Yeah, talk was about she? Edith a little bit. Oh, yeah, she was definitely. She was incredible. She was a Holocaust survivor. Uh, she killed Nazis during the war. Uh, she did? Oh, yeah. She did. Def- How? With a gun. Wow. Yeah. She was a redhead. I love I that. Was a redhead. What, well, it looked dark red. <clears throat> Oh, well, she had well maybe a one hair. time. No, 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 so. no. Definitely not a redhead. My mom is <laughs> red a redhead. brown. Or... No, definitely. All right. My mom is. Me. My mom is a redhead, though. Yeah. Oh, and then anyway, so she came to this country with two dollars in her pocket and a very powerful businesswoman. From what country did she come? Romania. Nice. I yes. am very grateful to her because you love clothes so much. Because I love clothing <laughs> so much, and she, I, I read, and and we're all. It's proven that everything I read is a little bit incorrect <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I read that she is responsible for bringing polyester to yes. the united states absolutely that's so cool yeah, she so found so she massive. Helped, uh, with the obesity so of cool. america everybody wearing <laughs> yeah. polyester exactly yeah she de- she was single-handed was responsible for, for bringing it here she, was yeah, she single so when she cool. came to the united states she had a, a little boy my father and her husband who had died in the in in uh during the war uh, so she was, uh, well, no, she wasn't single because then, um, she remarried, but after, but when she ca- got here, when she got here, she remarried. So yeah, she was technically was single. That's a kind of That's, brave. Wait, Barry, wait, to yeah. come she from was an, married and then came here by uh-huh. herself. With her, her husband son- was killed in the war. Uh, right. He was killed. With her son. She uh-huh. came along. Uh-huh. My dad. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's why, I mean, and what, she and, was and to unbelievable. Where, and to where did she come? Los Angeles? She went to San Francisco and then straight to Los Angeles. Wow. Yeah. That's so brave. Oh, yeah. And she passed away in 2014. 14. Yeah, 2014. Okay. And that's when Melissa Rivers' father died and my father died. It was, oh. Was that 2014? That was, that was John 20 Rivers 40, died? Yeah. August. Oh. Oh, that's Sorry. interesting. I didn't realize that. Mm. Yeah. I was sitting in the hospital when it happened. That's why I know. That's weird because Edith died in August too. I didn't know. I never thought, I I thought about think that. Edith, I yeah. Are you sure it was twenty fourteen that Edith? Maybe it wasn't twenty fourteen yeah. then. Oh, yeah, maybe it was. I read it was twenty. No, it was twenty four. <laughs> it was August thirteenth. <laughs> August thirteenth. Okay, okay. Well, if yeah. you read it, then it's got to be true. I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> August thirteenth. But I remember seeing her at Hillcrest a lot and. She always was, even in her 90s, dressed beautifully. Her hair was perfect. I love that. She she didn't leave the house without mm-hmm. being really put together. Yeah, mm-hmm. she was something else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, great jewelry. Great. And uh, Yeah, and I would go up to her and say, 
God, you have great hair. She says, I do, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. She yeah. must have loved you, though. Oh, yeah. She was she was obsessed with me. Yeah, I'm sure she oh. was. Yes. Her little boy. <laughs> yeah, she was obsessed with Were you with the me. youngest grandchild? The only. The, the only, only grandchild. Yeah. Well, I know I have a sister, but she, from a different marriage, from my from my mom's first marriage. Okay. So okay. I'm her only was her only grandson. Oh. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. Yeah. But there somehow it seemed you and she, it skipped a generation that she was and you were a unit. Oh yeah, we were a unit for sure. Mm. We were always together. This is uh-huh. really pretty. Oh, I love thank that. You. Love thank you. Thank you. Maybe that's why your friends are uh your favorite oh, people sure. are a generation Probably. or two older. I would, so like that's the connection. I, bet. I would assume yeah. so. I, yeah. yeah, but I've always been like that way my whole life. Yeah. But Josh has that style in his home. It's very curated elegance. It's not jazzy. It's not, I mean, it's jazzy elegant, but it's not uh, trendy. It's old world uh Classic. It's classic in your house. Class. Your house. It's, it's just beer class. Was it built? Was eclectic. it built a long time ago? Um, your right home. now, I'm living in the Beverly Hills Hotel. I'm not living. I'm built. I just bought a new house uh, in Beverly Hills. So, which is an old 1926 uh, Italian house, which it's going to take three years to build it. I'm sure. But I'm just just interviewing architects now. So, as of right now, it has bad closet space. It has, <laughs> it has bad closets. No, it's it's okay. Close houses built a long time ago. I have no closets. No, this this is a big house though. It's it's a it's a it's a pretty big house. So it has it has good closet space. But so what are you doing to it? Everything. Everything. Just, Re- gut, like gutting it. Gutting it over. from the stu- from the studs. Okay. But but restoring it and bringing it back to what it what it was. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's going to be incredible. And so, are you going to live at the Beverly Hills Hotel for three years? I I hope not. <laughs> I don't know. I have to figure that one out. I really have to figure. I have to find a place to. <laughs> I move in with you? Uh, absolutely. I have to find a place to go. It's getting yeah. a little annoying every day going through the lobby. Just, yeah, yeah. You can't just go get a coffee without talking to somebody. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. Yeah, it and that's a that. hard location also because you can't really walk someplace to get a coffee either. Well, you have everything there, though. Yeah. It's, and just go yeah, to the you pool. Yeah, you can go to the you. coffee shop. You Let's be real. When am I getting options. a coffee? I'm getting a martini. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? The last time I had a cup of coffee, I can't even remember. Really? I was thinking that this morning. I was thinking, I wonder if, if I could have a martini. If, well, no, but people put like Bailey's in their coffee. I, you know what? I have. I was like thinking a- about this morning. I was like, if I had an alcoholic, and I thought to myself, no, I'm a totally functioning person. I just really enjoy alcohol. And why is that such a bad thing? If I want to have a drink it's in the not, daytime, it's not. If it's, you have, it's, it's, if, if it's you not hindering me. No, if you well, don't do it all day long. No, I okay, do. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, really. Then you're Josh, a functioning alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, okay. Wait. Did this turn into an intervention? <laughs> I should get Doctor Drew over here. <laughs> That's Seriously. funny. He's really funny. Actually. I love to say oh. this to people. I I, th- I do this. I've never been drunk in my whole life. Really. Crazy, Neither right? have I. Not too late to start. <laughs> no. Neither have I. I've you've never tried alcohol? Drink. Or you've I, just never been drunk? I've tasted it. I've I just don't like drink. it. I never did. Never. Never. Same. So I've thought that I've known this about them since the the day yeah, that we met. What is wrong with them? And I'm, I just cannot believe it. Like their history. She's married to the right. like yeah. the main, like Black Sabbath. Like how do you get through this life? Well, it's like Cher. Alcohol. It's like Cher, by the way, who... People people think she does drugs. She drink. She's never done anything either. Why, why would like people me. think that? I would never think that. Cher. Yeah, a lot yeah, of people. Think. Well, they think that just because she's Hollywood. Yeah, Are you friends well, with Cher? I represent her. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. But yes, I'm friends with her too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's still in Malibu. Yeah. Who got custody of the dog, Josh? I did. You did. Yeah. That's nice. It is nice. Uh, t- who's your dog? Who is my yeah. dog? My dog is named George. And what is he? George is He's a golden cute. golden doodle. He is oh. 80 pounds. He's massive. Is it weird that I'm literally salivating? She loves. <laughs> I love dogs Listen so to much. that one. That one just went, yeah, yeah. me too. <laughs> but my dog is very unwell behaved. Oh. Whatever. Yes. Uh, does he need training? It needs Everything. Uh-huh. It's uh, ate the drywall the other day. Oh, I don't might, even know why. Does drywall the taste Hills good? Hotel? Yes, drywall doesn't even taste. I don't good. think. I think it's not good for him to do that. I don't think it's good for anyone to eat drywall. You no. know what? You no. know what George needs a schedule and a workout. 
<laughs> the dog is George. a maniac. Honestly. George needs the dog a nanny. is. What do you mean? The dog is wake. Wa- the dog has walked for four hours a day. I'm oh, sure really? he has his own nanny. He and does. Yes, he's in this dog. Nanny, it's yeah. called the Rich Dogs of Beverly Hills. I swear to God, <laughs> it's we, <laughs> we we joke because the the people that are in the, the dog this dog click and like the dogs that are in this we always joke that there's this dog in Sherman Oaks that wants to come in the click and they always say no to him. <laughs> Oh. I know it's very sad. Dog. They're very discriminating. That's terrible. It's terrible. That's I feel terrible. bad for that other dog. I feel very badly for the dog in Sherman Oaks. You need to yeah. sell, sell the. <laughs> and, it wasn't, and he lives north of the boulevard. It's not like he lives south of the That's boulevard. Terrible. I mean, it's geographical. Oh. It's nothing else. And I feel bad for him. I hope he's okay. Yeah. It's. I don't think he's doing so well. You could oh. tell him to use my address. And okay, then fine. That's <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> then he can get in. <laughs> then he can get in. Yeah, he can get in. That's Poor funny. George. George needs big bones. George. He eats the big bones. I but instead of drywall, like he what's eats the drywall everything. From? He just eats everything. He ruins everything. He How doesn't. How old is he? He's one and a half he's years a baby, old. That's he's why. A baby. But he went through six months of training. I thought this dog was going to come back and write JavaScript or something. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was so smart it could program a website. <laughs> it so literally is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but, he, but you love him. Aww. He's you so sweet. Him. But he's maybe he's not dumb. He's just really hyper. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Got ADD. I went to a dog psychic yesterday and they told me that he needed to be let into the prairie. I said, What? Is this like a Michael Landon series or something? <laughs> He's like, yeah, it needs to be out in the prairie. Oh, I go, we don't have prairies in Los Angeles. Sorry, lady. Yeah. I think she was a total does. wacko. Oh but he God. probably wait, does wait, need to just like run, run. Psychic. Oh, please. Yeah. The dog psychic? Okay, wait a minute. I want to talk about something <laughs> serious for a minute. Since the war of Ukraine. Yeah. What is happening with all the Russian money in LA oh. and the homes? Have you uh, noticed anything? Yeah, I noticed freezing? a couple pop up. A couple of the houses have popped up quite. Anything yeah. great? Not really. No. Keep me and Don posted. No. Are you looking to buy a Russian oligarch? Well, you a Russian oligarch's house? <laughs> <laughs> well, have you, been, have you always had yeah. your you heart set on some sort of... You know Don likes a deal. Of, Are you in the Don market likes for the deal. Russian oligarch's house? <laughs> Um, Screaming deals on yes. all of the oligarch properties. In Find us a deal, <laughs> Josh. <laughs> everything. Should we yeah. explain okay. to Josh what we <laughs> yes. do What we do at the end of our yes. show? Yes. 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 Somebody else explain it. So every, at the end of every one of our episodes, we have something called raggeries and kudos. And raggeries is, is if there's something that happened to you this week, or just in general, something in life that you just can't stand. Okay, you want to That's our on. raggery. And then we have kudos, which is something great that happened or something that you're proud of or something you'd like to, you know, just compliment. So should we start with rag? We would love you to participate. What if I can't um, think of anything? Oh, you Maybe can. Well, by the time you hear how we go. Okay. We it's very start. shallow. And you don't the, have to. The more shallow, the better. Sloan yeah, has I'm to dig real hard. To, hard. To, I have to dig to be shallow. To be so shallow. Yeah. <laughs> you have to dig to be non-political. That's for well, sure. Well, I can't do that. So that's just yeah. who okay. I am. So, Risa? Ugh. I can't. I don't have one. You don't have a raggery? No, I've been trying kudos? to think the whole... No, I have a kudos. Do it. A kudos? Sure. No. Oh, we got to start with raggery. All right, let yeah. Amy go. Let yeah. Amy go. Let Amy go. Okay, you go. Okay, so my raggery, <clears throat> this is a good This is a good one. It's shallow. <laughs> my, my raggery is, I hate when you go into a store and the music is so loud. Oh, that's a good one. And it's terrible music. So it like I was in a so shop the other day. I had to leave. I couldn't take it. It was like nails on a chalkboard. It was Absolutely. so loud. It was so bad. And I was like, bye. And by the go. way, that's why I don't go anywhere without earbuds now. So I can put on a podcast or something. Oh, it would be so loud. Idea. I cannot uh, go places like that. It, it would have been too loud. Like then you would have competing sounds, which I get. It. I think I have a low level autism i can't take it like i cannot take it i think okay then i can say something in in association with that the same thing is true in a restaurant if the music is so loud you can't talk to the people with whom you're having dinner right yes i can't stand that i'd rather leave the restaurant i can't do it correct okay you go gloria okay my raggery is that i went to do the podcast and discovered that nobody could hear me through the microphone and then discovered while playing with the wire that my cat shoot through it. <laughs> That's my raggery, that I have very naughty cats. Mm. Oh, well. Okay. Mm. It's okay. Okay, my raggery is not shallow. Oh, no. surprise. Okay. What a surprise. I just wonder, how much does this country need to know regarding January 6th that it is the most unapologetically uninformed 
country on the planet. <clears throat> and proud people are proud of it. And it's just so embarrassing. And we came <clears throat> close to losing our democracy. Yeah, we so, did. So uh, anyway, it makes me crazy. Okay. All right, Josh, have you come up well, with mine? Well, mine is a little bit more superficial. Yeah, that's, no, that's good. good. We that's like that. Yeah, we like that. My <laughs> record is I was at Mr. Chow's last night, and I didn't like that the waiter cleared uh, uh, everyone's plates before everyone, someone was still eating, and they started taking everyone's plates away. I hate away. that. That's I, hate that. I, hate that. I hate that. I hate that. It's I hate one of my biggest faux pas. I hate it. So way, I took my hand, and I just took, he started raising the plate, and I put the plate down like uh-huh. this. Yes. Uh-huh. But Mr. Chow's is especially bad with that. Mm. Uh, I, 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 I've, I've never been there. That bugs the hell out of me there. I have literally never been there, and I think they refer to it, it in a, a play or I think some films, and I'm always like, God, it sounds so good. I don't even know really what I hate. We'll which, uh, Josh take, we'll is go. saying yeah. happens we'll all have the a double time. Date, okay, I'll let's go there. Okay, I go thanks. there a lot. Okay, thanks. Wait, can I tell a uh, Mr. Chow story, even though we're doing yeah. raggeries and yes. kudos? Why not? So do you know, you might know, do you know who John Burnham is? Do you know John Burnham? Yeah, why do I know that? Well, he was an agent. Now he's a manager. He was an agent with me at ICM. And you would well, I, you would know him, yeah. But one day I so I was at Mr. Chow, and I went to the. Are you at ICM? I was, but now I'm now a manager and a producer. But I was at ICM for 17 years. Oh, that's but where I was. I, I, I'm, that's where I am. ICM. Oh, I am represented at ICM. Yeah. With whom? Michael Kagan. Yeah, he's after my time. Yeah. Because I left there in 2008, I guess. Did yeah. you know Bernie Brillstein? Mm-hmm. Very well. I was at oh. William Morris before ICM. Did for, you know Don Demesquita? No. He was the head of public relations there. I don't know him. In Columbia. So I was in the bathroom at Mr. Chow, washing my hands, and out from a stall came John Burnham. I'm like, John, this is the ladies' room. Yeah. <laughs> and he it. goes, it is? I go, well, look at the picture on the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny. <laughs> that's funny. That's anyway, cute. Sorry, John. Oh, that's okay. funny. That's funny. Now we're doing kudos, aren't okay, we? Okay, kudos are good things. But kudos that was good. Reason. Look, hey, slow jo- our guest. Josh did a That was a good one. Yeah. Very yeah, good, good raggery. Okay. Okay. Um, that was perfect. Under pressure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. My kudos, I'm going to do this. My, my kudos goes to my youngest sister, Hope, whose name goes perfectly with her because she is a saint. You know, my mom has now 24-7 care. My sister does so much for her every day, all day long, and has her own family, and I don't know how she does it. And I only hope and pray that when we get older, we have somebody like that Mm -hmm. in our life. So that's my kudos. That's a good one. Nice. That'll be me. (laughs) (laughs) You You will take care of us? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Um. My kudos is real estate related, and it's about my brother. He, you'll like this, he was in, he's in Phoenix. He bought in March of 2020 a house that was just terrible and disastrous rundown. Great views, though, great, like, uh, potential. He bought it for, I think, 540 or something, put, like, 70 grand into it, and just sold it two years and two months later. For two point two million dollars. Wow. wow, fantastic! <laughs> I, love I love your it. brother, and I don't even know him. Yeah. Me too. That's so cool. That's so so cool. That's yeah. fantastic. And wow. he's done it a million times, but that's the biggest. What's he gonna do with the? What, what's he gonna buy now? I just put it into something. I mean, nothing. You know, it becomes lateral when you're having to buy into that market. Yeah. But but he'll find something that he can. Sure. Uh, he'll Let's completely again. redo. So he lives and flips and lives and flips. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, Gloria. Okay, well, I'm gonna give a kudos to myself. Okay. Um, and I'll paint a clear picture for you so you could see why I'm, I think I deserve the kudos. Okay. As you girls know, when I go to bed at night, because I have so much hair, I usually do this, but I put a bobby pin in it. So it's almost like I look like I'm sleeping in curlers, but it's to keep my hair from doing all kinds of kinky, funky things during the night. So I let Coco out to pee. And while she went out to pee, I decided to go pee and get my coffee going. So four minutes later, I went outside to get Coco and couldn't find her anywhere. She's oh a God. nightmare oh dog. God. I'm screaming. It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm screaming, Coco, top of my lungs, can't find her anywhere. And I glance over to the distance and I see her in my only neighbor's yard, but not just in their yard, on their patio. Oh. It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm like, what am I going to do? And then I see her on their patio 
pooping. Oh no. She is pooping on the patio. I'm like, <laughs> no poo bags with me. Oh. I pick her up. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to quickly look to see if they have cameras, put her down, take my top off. Oh shit. <laughs> my tank top is still on. So I'm stripping in their patio, <laughs> on, on their patio to pick up dog shit. Oh shit. Okay. I would have just visual. left the shit there to be honest with you though. <laughs> Kudos to me. Kudos, Kudos to you. To me. I'm going to give them to you, say. too. I'm going to give it to you, you too, yeah. for that. Okay. Thank you. For that strip Thanks. tease. And by the way, we're going to see it on YouTube yeah. at some point because <laughs> your neighbor is probably going <laughs> to take a film. I can only imagine. I still haven't gone back to look for cameras, but I am going to. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I bet you're oh, on yeah. their ring or something. I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Okay. Sloan. My kudos is to Pharrell Williams. Oh. Well, what would he do? This week, he paid off five students student oh, loans. Oh, that's nice. Oh, nice. In full. That's nice. At mostly black, uh, historically black universities, and one of them was a girl in North Texas, and uh, it's life-changing oh. for these people. Yeah. That's nice. Amazing. That's awesome. So that's, really that's really cool. Really that was his awesome. royalties from last week, but that's cool. That's awesome. Okay, Josh. Really cool. Shallow. Oh. It's good. Oh. Shallow. Oh, my, oh, my, okay, my kudos is to my friend Helen Lewis who's in her 70s, and she's a very famous art dealer. She lives uh, like on the 700 block of Beverly Drive, and she hasn't wanted to date anybody for 20 years since her husband, Marvin, passed away. And finally, she called me a couple days ago and said, I think I'm ready. I'm, I'll, I'll put my foot out there. I'm, I want to date somebody. Oh, so oh I love wow. that. So now I have to find somebody, and she's stunning. I mean, this won't be very hard. Actually, it's really hard to find women. There's always... there's more so there's women. always women there's yeah. never men yeah you know Agreed. what you'll have to there's got there's so many dating sites <laughs> and there and people meet people on dating sites she wants a normal person no but but <laughs> but then, it's not just that like there's ones for older people how there's about ones. a tailcrest a nice widow yeah yeah that's what we need that's good find. yeah Widower. Widower. Let me just let me just point out or. that Josh, when you got here, we were all like, Oh, you're so you're like every woman's dream. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> I'm every woman's dream. I don't yeah, know. So. That, that's the problem in LA. <laughs> it's the problem in LA that there's that it's not like there's well, too many great women and not enough uh, available <laughs> right. available straight but men. But you know what? That's a problem now everywhere. I guess so. But there are a lot there are I, I hate to say it. I mean I know people that have met people on dating sites and they're high-end ones i mean because those are people that are looking to meet people right right i yeah. mean what's she gonna do go to a bar i don't think so no but she'll put out josh and yeah yes we're she's, putting so pretty. Yeah. She's, she's so pretty she's so pretty and she's so smart and she's there's such a well-respected art yeah. dealer i mean yeah there's probably i'll think people. i'll ask don he knows ask your agent there's probably a lot of people within icm that are single mm. that's a good idea yeah, yeah. i mean my agent's 35 <laughs> but, but he works but He's he works got a grand he works father. in a building he works in a building with people that are older and all different so. ages uh great to really have Josh nice to have you and uh what a fantastic guest you've been well, yes. thank you for having and me and you educated yes. us all on lots of things i don't yes. know what but i'm well, happy that i could but lots of yeah, things lots. just take it at that yeah. good <laughs> yeah but i i'm just gonna put a fire like get out of the hotel <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna be there for three years. I know, right? <laughs> Stressing me out that your dog's eating the walls of the hotel. <laughs> Literally, you need a yard. <laughs> we'll you need a new dog. Stuff. No, oh. you need your baby. Oh. Okay. okay. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye.